Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra begins an enlightening teaching titled, How to Neutralize Curses. Today, he speaks about how to recognize a curse. Let's join in. Today, short down to share on the subject, how to neutralize a curse. Just about how to neutralize a curse. In Genesis 3.16, God said to Eve, I will greatly more multiply your sorrow and your conception. In sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children, and your desire shall be to your husband, and he shall rule over you. Now, this case on the woman, two things God said. The first thing you see is that is the word sorrow. Tell someone this sorrow. It means that when a curse is working, there is what? Sorrow, pain. The second word that you find there is the word he said, your husband will rule over you. And obviously this rule is bad. So when curses are working, it's like something else is controlling your life. Let me talk about number one. Number one, for example, a woman wrote to me and she said to me that, Every child she had was deformed. So the woman was in pain because of that. And she asked me to pray for her because she wanted to have another child. So we prayed. And when she prayed, for the first time, she had a normal child. And she named the child Divine. The second feature I said is control. Something seems to be controlling you. There was a brother who told me that in his family, nobody prospers. He himself, he had not worked for eight years. Finished university, done masters, learned different things, still no job. And said, prophet, I want you to pray for me. So we prayed. After his prayer that night, he had a dream. He was in a transparent carrier bag. And somebody was carrying him around as if they are going shopping. Then he said, as he was struggling to come out, the man who was holding him opened the shopping bag and told him, come out. He said, from today you are free on the earth. And then he jumped out. The following week, he had an international job. Not even a local one. He had an international job. Put his hands together for Jesus. He was delivered. The following week. Then, in verse 17, this is a curse pronounced on Adam. Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Curse is the ground for your sake. In sorrow shall thou eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth unto thee. Thou shalt eat the herbs of the field. What I'll say is that the next, the third feature is working with little resource. You plant corn, but inside of the corn you have thorns. You plant mangoes, but instead of the mangoes, you have thistles. No result. Sometimes when a curse is working, it's like that. You put in a lot of effort, but the result is so small. Feature number four, verse 19, he said, In the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. Out of it thou was taken, dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. This is difficulty. He said, in the sweat, the thing is difficult. Something that people do easily, you realize that for you is very difficult. Very difficult. It doesn't mean that every difficulty is a curse. 
There are families nobody has built a house before. I mean, building a house is a very difficult thing. In spite of the best effort, nobody can do it. So when the cases are quite affected, so God told them, He said, Look, when the cases are quite you experience these symptoms, signs and symptoms. But you need about three or four signs together to realize that no, this might be a case. Thanks for tuning in. Today we learned that when a curse is in operation, we are likely to see a combination of three or more of these features. Sorrow, control, working with little results and difficulty. Join in again tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Successful surgery. Dear Kakra, I wrote to you to pray for my mom who was going to have a surgery. She went through the surgery safely and was discharged the following day. God bless you. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message, or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to 233 55 Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Have you ever experienced periods in your life when you felt tired and disillusioned about the very things that used to excite you? It could be a marriage, a job, or your relationship with God. The daily grind of life can sap energy from your soul, mind, and emotions, leaving you depleted. Anything that expends energy needs to be recharged. Recharge your life with this exciting book by Kakrabaden, Energy Drink. It will keep you fired up to face each day with faith, hope, and love. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Energy Drink in the comment section or message window. This book is also available as an ebook on Amazon Kindle or Kobo.com. We also deliver worldwide.